Hello Leo, welcome. Thank you for being here. We're doing your May 2024 reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. I'm going to be using uh, the horoscope spread covering different areas of your life. So you'll find something here about career, love, home, finances, your headspace, your image, a little bit of everything. Uh, as usual, because these are pretty general, take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we start here, the cards that came for you, the messages, the first one is 777. And he says, good luck. This message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainties. You'll come out winning from everything that may have come your way, which I feel like a few readings that I've done for you guys, that has been uh, the case. It's telling you that you are going to, to overcome something or win. Um, it's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share, yet you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to others. And the second one is energy levels. The, that, day you, that day you're waiting for will come. Maintain discipline. You're getting closer to your end goal. There's no need to overextend yourself. Guard your energy to remain focused. It will pay off. It's a climb, not an elevator ride trust in you and then we have unique skills is that time of intense self-development focus your mind or your craft you already have what it takes to succeed but practice makes you a master it's also it also serves to find your true purpose leveling up in your career or business is of priority right now all that is good so we have eight 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 personal power all that is good and pleasant in your life will multiply. Angels are sending the number to reassure you of the prosperity and well-being ahead. Your, your surroundings will treat you with admiration and respect. Very Leo energy, right? Use it for the greater good. And then we have 333. I'm getting Empress here as well. Support. Especially these are go hand in hand, I feel like, because it's saying that you are going to... to have the right support here seeing the angel number 333 is a sign that it's time to focus inward a lot about the word focus here work on your skills discover your talents and use your imagination unleash your inner artists doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of competence it does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community and it's interesting because the cards that came here, first of all, came your card, the strength card. So it was a confirmation that this is definitely your reading, uh, which with the power here, the strength card, it feels like very much what you need to focus. Not everything has to be kind of, you know, I feel like the beast here, the temper, the uh, when it comes to being consumed or even the fear. It's just kind of finding the balance. This also comes to me at a time where someone is use, using emotional intelligence, in, intelligence here or there's this, um, you know, strong desire, but you have been restraining it. It is also, I feel like you and someone here, right now you have this spiritual union, but it feels like uh, maybe at the moment there's some type of separation between the two of you. I feel like... When I see the strength card, it is unconditional love. It's two people understanding the strength they have for each other, but also they need to, you and this person, if it is about another person here, when you come together to know that love, you know, is greater than anything else. Even when it comes to passions, even when it comes here to uh, power, it's just someone to understand the power of love or this spiritual union more than anything else. But let's see what the actual reading tells you. It can be also that there is, uh, you know, certain desires that are not being re 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 uh, expressed here. They are being restrained with you and someone else. Someone needs patience, mental discipline. But let's see. Let's see what's going on. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. From the first house through the 12th, please. For May 2024, what does Leo need to know? One more. All right. A lot of worry and anxiety here. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune for something. There's that good luck. Something needs to change. Someone has been thinking here, wants to also maybe, you know, contact you or there's watching, keeping tabs. 
maybe from a distant we'll see oh my. <laughs> all right all those messages pertain to your headspace and how you're going to see this but i really i've said it before the strength card to me it is unconditional love there's your heart and there's uh, your soul but also it is you and someone else here feeling like you guys belong together all right the nine of wands the four of pentacles the three of swords okay the five of wands this is Saturn in leo in your own house here the ace of wands the two of swords okay that's why the eight of cups the lovers okay it is a strong uh, connection between you and someone else but some of you may be a distance or right now you feel like there's other things here you still believe in the i'm getting the power of love so strong between you and someone else you still believe in it all right so we have the famous here that keeps coming for you and aquarius i believe as well comes a lot this king of pentacles um but if that is you financially you're doing really good karma here in the aquarius house by the way and the fool wow and the sun your card i'm telling you good things are coming your way like uh sorry I'm, I'm just looking at everything okay i have everything 12 and the sun it's very important for you because he's saying behind the, first of all look at the major arcanas that we have here so there's a lot going on here in your life uh for this month and i've said it for the fixed signs that is because not only is taurus season so it's going to square you guys it's going to create some tension and that tension for some of you may be regarding home uh property family here um currently where you live also when it comes that you feel like there's this tension when it comes to romance but i feel like it is towards your happiness because look at the nine of wands which is in the second house taurus house by the way and also because we have jupiter still in taurus uranus of course is in taurus we're gonna have venus in taurus so again and depending on your whole chart this is not going to be for all of you but think of, of possessions values here um self-esteem as well that keeps coming here he's saying that there's something especially because the five of wands is competition here in your own house in the fifth house so you're defending yourself here you're defending your values your assets what you believe is yours and the sun is behind here your identity your vitality that's why it's like for you to know your true strength and the true strength here is not again when it comes to arrogance is not here when someone feels like they need to be um overpowering someone else or you feel like someone here will overpower you or competition is to know your strength and not in a situation to use power over it there's gentleness here it, it's like m the master in this situation that um, or taming here that temper or knowing here also that uh whatever it is that you love that you want to go after you are going to get but yes, it feels like there, there, there's going to be this when it comes because of your uh, attraction to someone or when it comes here to love, when it comes to hobbies, talents, it, it's going to be this push and pull, but you will overcome it. You will know here truly what is worth it and you're defending it. And as for some of you, it might be regarding uh, anything financially here, siblings or uh, any type of contract uh, when it comes to the third house, communication, the four of pentacles. It's like i'm holding this this is mine but this is a house that deals with siblings and communication and short trips but it, it's focused on structure and it's focusing on someone here that wants to hold on to their possessions why because even when it comes here to the second house of possession you feel like i'm standing my ground it took me so long i'm not going to give up now i know that there's something beautiful is coming in why because the 11th house karma here the aquarius house pluto is in aquarius it feels like something when it comes to your visions networking um it feels here even friends or your goals that finally something is uh resurfacing here or is coming clean it's purging that's why the fool behind the scenes is like now i'm ready for a new beginning you don't see this new beginning yet it's just telling you that's your uh in this situation your blind spot or someone here wants to take a big leap of faith uh towards you but whoever is holding tightly that surrounds you to like in a way of possessive it's causing some type of heartbreak at home and it's causing some type of tension here 
uh, when it comes to children, hobbies, and your own um, love life. It's just push and pull. Why? Because someone is not ready to open up. There is something very beautiful here in your current work or daily life or routine. There's a new passion, new, new beginning that is starting. It's interesting because these two houses are opposite each other. We have Virgo and we have Pisces. There's this kind of beautiful action here. Look at it. something is starting uh, to take uh, in a way here. I feel like it's it's a spring type of energy, <clears throat> which we are now. It's like life has started here. This new passion, this desire is coming in. And it's telling you that this is something, again, that has been thought for some time because the fool is at zero here. It's like behind the scenes, someone has been waiting for this opportunity to start. But the problem is that when it comes here to one-on-one -on -one connection, partnership, someone is at crossroads or does not know. Right now, I cannot decide. Not because, again, the connection is not here. The lovers is coming as distant, but it's coming as faith and belief. Or if some of you, you don't know this person, it feels like or different country or uh, you might kind of meet this person when you open uh, yourself, um, you know, maybe traveling beyond whatever is going on currently here in your life where someone is just holding on to their daily situations here. This is like traveling, distance, higher education and so on. So it feels like some of you, that's where you might meet a person. But I feel like most of you know this person. You feel like this is where your faith, your belief you know, you want to be with. You might be feeling disappointed here as well with your current uh, situation when it comes to intimacy, when it comes to a partner. Um, you want something else. Saturn is in Pisces, and I've said it for some of you, if you have a uh, Virgo placement, you're feeling it. But I, I feel like I said this to Gemini as well, that this Eight of Cups is not coming as mostly, you know, someone that feels dejected or, you know, kind of sad it's just someone is realizing that all the cups are upright you know i've dealt with all these feelings now i want to know what's next in my life or i need to to be more fulfilled it's time for me to be fulfilled even if i'm dealing with some type of heartbreak and the king of pentacles in the 10th house this is a career person this is someone that or is getting promoted or is wealthy or very much stable there also this person again is looking at long-term goals they they have like a 20, 30 year plan here, kind of energy, this King of Pentacles, but it's coming as someone with a very, um, very ambitious, um, goal oriented type of personality and is bringing again, some type of news here. If this is you, you might be feeling there's something at home here. You feel torn because of what you have to accomplish. And even when it comes to your love life, but you also know that there's something greater and better that is coming towards you and you're defending that. If you are the king of pentacles i'm gonna see here but it's a, a great powerful month for you guys and it might be the support that is saying you know the king of pentacles may, may be the person that supports you for some of you as i mentioned if it is you this is time to uh boost your self-esteem there's prosperity that is coming in but let's see i want to clarify all right so What is the uh, strength card? I'm going to get both. <laughs> Towards your wish fulfillment. And there's the, with the full here. So you have to really, and remember you have the eight of cups. So it has to do, or uh, this is Scorpio house, by the way. When it comes, as I mentioned, to your love over passions here merging shared resources joint venture or again it's just how uh when it comes here to your desires with another person what is that you have to have uh, the strength to go forward here to take that leap of faith something that you truly desire you have to listen to your heart and for some of you not your ego in this situation to so have the courage and the fortitude to go after something here that you have wanted, you have desired. Okay, so what is the nine of wands? One more. Okay, so we have, uh, okay, I'm gonna explain now, because I'm also I'm looking at the two of swords and three of swords. Some of you, your person is still at crossroads because of family situation. 
uh, this nine of wands is coming with the king of wands by the way there's those aces here those new beginnings someone that is really protecting that potential or a talent here whatever you feel that um, you have the resiliency or the inner strength to continue here defending but especially because with the seven of swords i don't know if someone here has been avoiding a situation or you feel like someone has not been able to confront uh, whatever you're dealing with I, the seven of swords is moon in aquarius it has to do with this king of wands someone is determined here to not let or deception or elusiveness or shortcuts or uh, some type of form of manipulation here that's what you feel like you're defending someone needs to be very honest and open here about their assets their values it may be also something that you are refusing to act in, in a certain way you want to stand your ground with whatever here it is that you want but the king of wands may be you it may be someone you're dealing with so what is the four of pentacles please I'm gonna, I feel like, yep, the three of wands. Sorry, the sun here. A card fell. Okay, yep, the strength card. It's your card. Why it feels, or some of you feel like you have to protect yourself or hold on to your asset tightly, but I'm, I'm getting here that someone is waiting, expecting to open up. There's expectations here, but someone is closed off or is worried. Is this connection? Someone maybe feels like I need to have money first or I need to have a structure before I open up. Waiting for this happiness, waiting for all those dreams and I feel like uh, plans that you have with someone finally to come in, but someone needs to open up and have the strength. What is the Three of Swords, please? yeah i feel like cancer a few signs had this the there's regret for some of you you feel like you want to take actions to go towards a person here travel towards this person but at the same time there's regret loss with the five of cups someone you thought you will end up with or you know family situation as i mentioned but that's where the three of swords is coming in a lot of regret and there's a lot of passion and a desire for someone to, to act here, to already take this initiative, to make that move. What is the Five of Wands? Yeah, mm. that's where you're defending the tower. You're not going to let someone also come here and destroy everything. There's a lot of conflict. I keep thinking there's something here about a decision. They're going back to the uh, nine of wands to your, I don't know, maybe you feel like you have to compete a lot when it comes to defending what you, uh, what your talents are, what you're working for, making money for some of you or a person here. But no matter what, I feel like you will overcome that. The five of wands is someone that is ready to take the obstacles and challenges. It just knows that there are going to be or some jealousy here or some competition or are some people taking advantage. That's why, again the strength card is not lowering uh, the standards here i feel like even if you're dealing with some other people you know your true power and you're not lowering yourself romantically for some of you as well that's going to be very important maybe you're not going to get let yourself get pressured by whatever this is going on and keep on doing whatever you feel like is bringing you happiness all right, so especially when it comes to decision and communication. So what is this Ace of Wands, please? You see <laughs> the Empress and the High Priestess. Something you have known all along, your intuition here, but something is flourishing, is blossoming. Mostly, for most of you, yes, it can be a co-worker, someone that you want something to start here but i feel like most than anything it is about work competition for some of you they like when it comes to whatever it is that you want here to achieve 
the high priestess has the ace of cups and the ace of swords so in a way it's like you're bringing here when it comes to this idea this love and then we have another ace here the ace of wands but the empress definitely i feel like uh, things are blossoming go after the dream leo for the ones here that want to know only about work or something that you feel like you have this talent go after it is the beginning here what is this two of swords please okay so definitely there's a person here that is dealing at yeah, the ace of cups as well there's love there's admiration there's praise there's a serious commitment here regarding on marriage or an offer but your person or you towards this person are still at crossroads so it's not that someone has not been thinking about you know there's admiration here and someone wants to come here and propose or know that they're not going especially again if there's some competition for some of you or someone feels like they will be rejected the six of ones does not deal with failure or unrequited love needs here to be praised to be recognized to be you know someone of status as well but that's where the crossroads i feel like someone that is thinking of commitment here um marriage is still waiting in that area of your life what is the eight of cups please The Six of Swords and the Transformation, the Chariot. So yeah, you're thinking, I feel like such a deja vu, these three cards together. I don't know if you've had them before or someone else. You know that you have to leave this behind, whatever is this conflict, as you move. And you have to have, again, that willpower to move forward. So emotionally, you feel like you are kind of going within yourself and trying to see what is your next step, what is your next chapter for some of you relocating or towards this person. You, you need kind of like a fluid mind, balanced situation to deal with, you know, all these feelings that you are trying to discern here so you can go towards your wish fulfillment. A lot of inner work, actually. What is the lover's? All right, so definitely it is someone from a distance, just as some of you waiting for all legal matters or you're divided because of karmic situations here. Between the two of you, there's this, you know, I feel like push and pull, I don't know, chasing runner and chaser type of energy or chaser and runner, whatever that is. It feels like that is the connection between the two of you. Again, I am getting that you and this person are going to have a union. But yeah, it seems someone that has been waiting to close a chapter here or to close the distance. And both of you are kind of trying to get together. I don't know if there's other people or other situation that are keeping you apart. What is the King of Pentacles, please? Okay, um, one moment here. I'm going to... Yep, the Moon in Taurus. This is a very successful give and take. There was one situation that you were worried here. So the King of Pentacles successfully here, career-wise, this is a great opportunity. Again, for some of you, this may be the person that lends you a hand or helps you as well. I'm gonna look at. <laughs> yeah, that is you and another person here. The Queen of Pentacles is coming in, Temperance. So two people that are merging. There's always been that offer, the what if that is coming in. But yeah, it feels like some something of sharing or success, harmonious energy is, is coming in. Career with a boss, with someone here in high position. So what is the karma, please? One more. Okay, the karma is because of a devil. Okay, also because of whatever it was that you felt someone was holding back. Remember with the four of pentacles that I said someone is holding back, he's afraid has to open up so there's going to be a release here financially for some of you if you felt again you don't have the support i keep getting that this is coming in finally whatever is hold you back remember the strength card not to let temptation not to let here something get to you um leo you are going to get your karma also on another person here if they have done something to you. But I feel like also there's a release of a karmic situation here. Financially or when it comes to what were your visions, your goals here. 
there's a release of um, also something that is, you know, felt like a codependent situation. What is the fool? What is the fool, please? One more. Yep, it feels like you're going to get out of that. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. There's going to, really, you're going to have a good luck. It's not coming, though, good luck because some of you feel like that it just is falling on your lap. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles has worked for this. Property here for some of you, if you feel like someone, when it comes to your home, property, family situation, uh, this, whatever you're dealing, again, this has been someone that has been working very hard to have it all. There's a pair as well. Both you and another person are very attracted, highly attracted to each other. But yeah, something you have started here, I've been thinking of also starting is with the Ace of Wands is the beginning is going to lead to prosperity, wealth, which I feel like the last readings that I've done for you, that has been the case as well. Also, again, some of you may be on the spotlight here. Finally, things are coming in. You're going to get the recognition you want. What is the sun here, please? the star and the moon there's a full moon energy by the way there's a full moon in scorpio on the 23rd and then on may 8th we have a new moon in taurus but it seems like with the star again enlightenment happiness things if you also have wanted again to get a promotion or to be recognized here finally this is coming true no more hidden no more elusive you are on, on the pathway to happiness and joy. Open up. Again, have the strength to go after what you want here. I truly hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Mm,